So, the young doctor, like the senior scholar, prefers research to humanity. At the same time, the senior scholar, in her pathetic status simpering victim, wishes the young doctor would take more interest in personal contact. Oh. Now, I suppose we shall see how the senior scholar ruthlessly denied her simpering students the touch of human kindness she now seeks. How, then, would you characterise... You! How would you characterise the animating force of this sonnet? Huh? In this sonnet, what is the... <clears throat> what is the principal poetic device? I'll give you a hint. It has nothing to do with football. What propels this sonnet? Um. You can come to this class prepared, or you can excuse yourself from this class, this department, and this university. Do not think for a moment that I will tolerate anything in between. Hmm. Did I say you are 19 years old? You are so young. You don't know a sonnet from a steak sandwich. By no means. To scan the line properly, we must take advantage of the contemporary flexibility in I-O-N endings, as in expansion. The quatrain stands. Are two souls, therefore, which are one, though I must go, endure not yet a breach, but an expansion, like gold to airy thinness beat. Bear this in mind in your reading. That's all for today. Professor Baring, can I talk to you for a minute? You may. I need to ask for an extension on my paper. I'm really sorry, I know your policy, but... Don't tell me, your grandmother died. You knew? It was a guess. I have to go home. Do what you will, but the paper is due when it is due. 